Redefining extraction is where I see a cross roads. Extraction is a big buzzword in climate justice and applying extraction to labor, how um, the profits of labor are then taken and used for these companies instead of creating wealth within our communities mm -hmm. is I think the, the thing that people would see and could get behind that. That is great, like extracting the good jobs, extracting people having a better quality of life. We do a lot of racial analysis on systems and just mm -hmm. thinking about environmental racism and where a lot of the right. fracking and things are occurring, right? And occurring in communities where people are at a disadvantage, where people don't have um, the status that they need in this society to, to not be victims of, of those types of things. You know, for us, it's about uh, supporting workers' rights struggles and making sure that um, that workers are well paid and that they're working in healthy environments. You know, the environmental justice movement would talk about um, the environment being where we work, where we live, where we play, where we pray. And, um, and so for us it's all inclusive and you can't separate out the issues in the workplace from the issues in the community. The way that we would, we would talk about your work is first also think of localize it, how this is happening all, um, in our folks' communities. Um, but talking about how this is also really part of a new economic analysis that we have. We see both in the environmental movement and in the labor movement that the same communities are, are frequently the ones who are being left out. Development is happening and advances are being made, um, but that's only for the benefit of a certain group of people. And so I think, you know, incorporating some of that inclusive language of, of the obligation of private sector to support holistic development um, is something that, that overlaps. If Deidre had an article related to her organization uh, surrounding climate justice and it related to renewable energy, right, and just realizing that renewable energy translates into new good green jobs, I think that would be something that would connect with our base. But we're trying to organize the community to have access to more quality paying jobs and ending low wage jobs in the community because those are a lot of the jobs that come to communities typically, especially communities of color. So we have the economic and racial discrimination and also the environmental justice and discrimination and just linking those two and how can we bring some opportunities out of those things. There was something from the National Domestic Workers Alliance that, that came up, we would really, I think, try to share it out and do it in a frame where we're connecting the economic justice that we're really working on with our other issues. We usually try to frame things out as we share them out about how this is working to better the quality of life for all people and that it's towards a vision that we're, that we're all working towards and that what, what they're doing and we're in alliance and we're in solidarity is really important.